then we should also be able to acquire ourselves a companion to help us out in our endeavors. Escort a merchant caravan. Yeah, we can take this on. Why not? Let's uh, go ahead and uh, try and uh, see if we can defend a caravan. Every single day that passes, we earn ourselves 369 uh, gold, which uh, does indeed sound quite profitable. So let's uh, try and work alongside them. We're heading over to Sanala, and we will therefore have to take on any groups of uh, enemy units that try to take uh, try to attack. As you can see, they do actually have both cavalry and horse archers, which is quite concerning. The more I think about it, I may have um, overstepped a little bit in this, reg uh, in this regard, but uh, we will indeed try our best. So, uh, we'll go for square formation, like so. Cavalry will hold the rear for now. Square formation, come on people. Engage it now. So, they will being closed again soon. Uh, let's set up shop. Okay, cavalry can engage now. There we are. Taking them out slowly but surely. Uh, pull back everyone back into the square formation. And we can... Yeah, the cavalry's doing quite alright so far. There we go. Engage. Take them out. Nice. One of them got dropped off of their horse. Nice, nice, nice. Just keep on messing with them. Keep on messing with them. Take them out. Good work, good work. Pull back. Every, you're doing alright so far, I think. Yeah, we have strength in numbers. That's the big thing to remember. We always have strength in numbers. Which is why um, I'm keeping everyone in, stre in, she in the shield wall formation. So that we can ensure that uh, their arrows are unable to penetrate through our shield walls on the outside. Uh, four more in the four more cavalry remaining. Um, oops, we did lose the well. No, we didn't lose anyone. It's just the trader themselves that lost the unit, so that's fine. Doing all right so far. Come on, guys. We need to take them out. Easy, easy. It's a little bit disorientating over time. One can also play in first person if they so desire. Um, I believe I can do so. Uh, like this, so now we are indeed in first person, and uh, well, it's, uh, it becomes a little bit more realistic, if you will, uh, in terms of having to try to figure out range and stuff. It is indeed quite cool in its own right. So, uh, let's go in uh, line formation and pull the charge. I think it's, uh, it's about time we can do this, and let's return into third person view. So only two cavalry, uh, two actual uh, horse riders, and uh, well, spear, uh, spearmen, and one uh, archer cavalry uh, do remain at this time. I know there's one guy on foot here. Let's take him out. However, the uh, big old, uh, the, the big old two-handed axe there will do short work of them with their um, uh, measly broken shield, I guess. Come on, guys, you can get him. You can get him. Arrows flying in, not mine though. There we are. GG's, GG's. No casualties taken, and we did uh, we did inflict significant casualties on the enemy, however. 22 enemy units destroyed. Uh, take some prisoners, got ourselves some horses and other bits and bobs, which is uh, pretty cool. There we are. Take what we can. So we'll stick with the uh, this caravan here and uh, escort it to safety in Sanala. While well, there we can also uh, sell off both the prisoners and also any other unit, any other goodies we got. Uh, so, weapons, nothing that we'd like to keep for ourselves, thank you. Bows and stuff can go. Armors in fear, I was gonna say inferior, but apparently I somehow forgot to actually equip the scale armor I got previously, so let's not sell that by mistake. Thank you very much. Sell the saddles, since we're not on horseback. Uh, food's looking okay thus far. Okay, I think we did well. We did well. Additional 2k. Uh, hey, Kieran. Uh, no one is here. I'm busy setting up a new, uh, disc a new uh, Discord for Smat right now, but you are committed to talking about the game. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Kieran. I appreciate it. Um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I, 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 yeah, I think I did see that there was a notification uh, in her chat earlier and via Nightbot that... 
uh, the Discord server had been um, uh, was no longer available. I'm sorry to hear that was the case. Um, uh, but uh, indeed, I, um, I appreciate that you, Kieran, are taking the time to uh, help the wonderful Smat in um, in uh, yeah in getting uh, in getting the Discord server back up and running. So we are from the bottom bottom of my heart my heart on her behalf. Thank you. She does indeed deserve all the loving she can get. Okay, uh, so let's continue on this way. Some looters we have managed to scare off, but they probably wouldn't, they wouldn't have managed to do much of anything really. Loads more raiders, however. Yeah, you, one always does end up going up against uh, cavalry raiders, raiders when you're doing these missions. So uh, I have a Discord. Um, any, uh, anyway, it was a spare one I had. Okay, that's cool. That's very nice of you indeed. Thank you for that. Yeah, no worries. Thank you, man. Uh, thank you. Feel free to join in at any uh, any time in the future, Kieran. I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays. If you're also interested, I also do have. Um, I also do try to put out daily YouTube content available via the YouTube link available in the chat. Uh, so if you're interested, please do consider checking it out. Thanks in advance, and I hope you have a wonderful uh, a wonderful uh, week, a uh, wonderful evening, and a wonderful week. Take care. So let's uh, try and help out again. Uh, we do have the advantage um, overall. However, um, I would still like to be the one in control Infantry of the engagement. Order! So uh, let's get ourselves into square formation again. Cavalry to hold the rear, like so. All right, so the caravan sending all of its uh, cavalry straight in. And that will indeed, um, I guess, prevent the enemy from charging straight towards Infantry! us. I guess we can try and go in line formation and charge the starters. Uh, we can Everyone also send in our horses to assist as well. Or at least to uh, skirmish, perhaps, if we can. So we'll tell them engage Advance! instead. They are, however, putting in a quite a number on our, um, on our units, so we need to be extremely cautious here. Forward! Keep following the, uh, uh, keep heading towards the main bunch of the enemy infantry, or the enemy, uh, the enemy horses, if you will. Here we go. Oh, there they are. Getting close, getting close. Damage going in. Uh, Alright, infantry here, I need you to go into square formation right now. There we are, good work. Uh, indeed, the uh, arrows beginning to fly in towards us, which is why I need these shields to be uh, fully operational at this at this time. Good, another mount, uh, another uh, ransacker has been eliminated. Great stuff. Full arm is also up to level 50, um, therefore we should be able to get ourselves a special perk from it as well of our choosing. Hold them back, hold them back. Um, we also do have some uh, archers from the caravan itself um, assisting us too, so that's cool. Oops. Come on, guys, set up, uh, set, uh, set up your, uh, set yourselves up for defense here. Man, this is the problem. The moment that the fact that they have so much, uh, so many archers, uh, it's really and truly making it next to impossible almost for us all to. Um, uh, close in and deal any damage to them until they run out of uh, arrows, I should point out. There you go, now they're charging in and they will get engaged, like so. Either that or they accidentally move into range and uh, get slaughtered for it. Good work, good work. Uh, how's our cavalry doing? Let's bring back our cavalry over to uh, yeah, perhaps control the engagement a bit more. Down, I think almost. Yep, they're uh, they've run out of arrows. As you can see, their uh, arrow sheaths have um, have been extinguished completely. And uh, yeah, um, uh, oops, hang on, come on, guys. I'm trying to be a bit smart here, having fallen off his horse. Hang on, defense. Hang on, Try again. Bring out our shield. This is going to be necessary. Thank you. Enemy force for the us. Allow our uh, our forces to engage again. Good work. 
So at the moment the horses get stuck in uh, get stuck inside our square formation, and uh, we're able to uh, quickly uh, dispatch of them accordingly. So I'd rather take the arrow myself than allow my own uh, my own allied units to get shot uh, by their arrows. So that's okay for me. Here we are. Hold again. So yeah, they will keep, they will indeed probably keep on circling us until we make uh, until they run out of arrows here. So we will indeed take some losses, unfortunately. What we perhaps can try and do is go into circle formation, uh, allowing us to open up ever so slightly, maybe. If they accidentally do, um, do end up within our range, uh, we will be able to engage with them. Horses engage, please. Yeah, this isn't looking good. Unfortunately, it does look like the circle formation has been messed up slightly. Three of, their enemy, uh, three of their units have gone down, which is wonderful. Let's see. Hang on. Ah, it's here in time. Oh, he, he, got, he got dropped though. Take him out. Good kill. Another one eliminated. Another one down. Come on, people. Only two of theirs remaining. One uh, one archer and one uh, and one regular uh, spear user. Bring our forces back, consolidate all of our forces. Oh, they got a runner. I see one, I see one. He did actually drop one of our... Uh, he, uh, he actually ended up spearing the horse of one of our cavalry, apparently. Which I would do not condone. So we'll have to close in and try and help. There we go. Saving our cavalry very quickly. And you go, get this one, to uh, this one last one. There he is. So we're at the ready. He's almost down. Now ah, he's gone around. The, he tried to go around and pick up additional uh, additional arrows to engage. We did win, thankfully. So uh, quite a close call overall, in my opinion. But um, we'll take the victory when we can, which is nice. Uh, everything seems to be all right. More prisoners. Well, we, there weren't really ma many prisoners available. Only three, sadly. But we did get five horses out of that, which is a uh, wonderful addition to our inventory. Uh, so, pole arms, what can we do? Uh, pole arm attacks can dismount, um, can dismount, ignore 15 dismount. Hang on, pole arm attacks that can dismount ignore 15% 15 per, uh, 15 dismount resistance. Interesting. Uh, infantry troops in formation you are leading have their damage increased by 10% against a, a, enemy cavalry. That's cool. Otherwise, uh, pole arm thrust attacks ignore 25% knockback resistance. Brace sounds to be the one to, for the one for me personally. Uh, tactics, so less damage from ranged units, or uh, while also having troops get less casual, uh, less mor morale penalties in the scattered formations. Alternatively, a less morale penalty for casualties in the tighter formations while dealing more damage to cavalry. So, cavalry choice is the obvious one for me. A uh, roguery we can go for increased unit uh, faster raiding or alternatively um, less chance of prisoners escaping from towns. Uh, think, 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 think. I'd say uh, bandit units. Yeah, bandit units. If later on we intend on trying to uh, recruit bandits and turn them over into uh, into actual Azerite troops, then it will indeed be completely necessary for us to well it would be useful for us to be able to convert them at a faster rate i would say uh, we do have another focus point available which we will go ahead and plod straight into um, part of me is thinking leadership could be a nice one to go for although stewardship should also be Nice touch. We'll go for medicine, actually. Medicine allow us to heal our uh, heal up our, our troops at a faster rate. Uh, the caravan has taken us taken a massive beating down to seven units now. So I'm glad that we made it to safety, and indeed the mission has been completed. So got ourselves 1.4k out of uh, out of that um, at, out of that escort, which is uh, very very nice. Trading, uh, we'll sell whatever we do not require. Uh, we have stronger uh, hand wraps and stuff already. Shimitar. Mm, nope, looks inferior, so we'll keep what we have. 
armor is done and we can sell all of these things as well right we're uh, making good progress making the progress food is uh, still enough for 64 days which is also a nice little touch overall yeah I think we're pretty much set for now uh, what missions arena as uh, so there's poachers or alternatively weapons for the gang for the gang leaders um, how's the arena looking so another helmet with an open turban I think we'll pass for now hey Gilrig hello how's it going pleasure to uh, pleasure to have you uh, joining us tonight welcome aboard as I see it's your first time chatting with us how are you how's it how's it going welcome welcome so, uh, I think we'll pass on the arena for now. Uh, we're closing... Yeah, we, ha we have actually made it into clan level 1, which is good. Uh, so, that means we should be able to join in as a mercenary. Or um, as a mercenary for the Azerai, if we find the correct lord to talk to. Oops, that was the wrong button. I was hoping to uh, head over to the uh, into the, uh, the castle keep, if you will. But not quite this time. Hey Potential, good evening, good evening. Hope all's well. So, uh, let's try this again, shall we? We are going to leave for now and go on the hunt for uh, any of the uh, Azerai lords or ladies we can find here. First time stopping by and being able to say, uh, stay more than five minutes. I see, I see, that's that's quite alright. I'm glad to hear you've found yourself... Um, I'm, I'm glad to see that you've found yourself a little bit more breathing room and are able to join me in the chat, certainly. Uh, still waiting for sh uh, um, still wait waiting for the chivalry two duels. Um, what do you mean by that, Fat? Um, I mean uh, tonight it's the, no, no sh uh, there isn't going to be any chivalry two. It's already getting quite late. Uh, however, if you're interested in see if any of you are interested in seeing any chivalry two duels, um, yeah, posted a video today actually with some uh, with some duels using the Highland sword. So click the link, check it out. Um, We'll have some duels tomorrow, like a month ago. Uh, well, I mean, I've I've been doing Shivery two duels quite consistently um, over the past month or so, I would say. So, <laughs> um, yeah, they they they've been happening, mate. They've been happening. The stream tonight's been going pretty well so far, Gilric. Uh, having a good time doing an Azurai only challenge here on on Bannerlord. So, uh, just started it today, and uh, yeah, we're we're doing all right. We're making some we're making some progress in the money department I'd say which is always a nice thing to see and we've got some uh, pretty good unit compositions as well overall I would say uh, if you're if you're interested to see what how I'm currently setting things up first and foremost as part of the Azurai challenge I can only make use of uh, units which um, are either standard units for the Azurai or alternatively acquired from uh, bandits or um, uh, some of the smaller factions within Bannerlord um, meanwhile, in terms of the uh, unit composition I'm going for, um, I do have some uh, some melee cavalry at this time. No archers presently, although I would like to begin specking into some very soon. Uh, in the meantime, however, I'm going for a mixture of uh, reg of regular infantry um, as well as some of the axe um, of the axe units, so that I have something good for uh, really dispatching of units quickly and also uh, decimating. Uh, enemy cavalry when they get close so uh, yes that is currently my plan hopefully soon we will get ourselves some uh, some archers as well to help out in the process I uh, don't know anything about mountain blade really I haven't played it what are the Azurai so the Azurai are indeed one of the uh, one of the main kingdoms so first and foremost this is the entire map in itself uh, which is for the map known as Caladria and uh, in total, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight main kingdoms. Uh, you have the Vlandians, the Batanians, uh, the Sturgeons, the Kuzates, uh, the Empire, which is divided into the Western, Northern, and Southern, as I recall. And then you have the Azerai, the Azerai being more of the, um, uh, I guess, um, uh, Arabic themed units, if you will. Uh, just checking in. Hope you're doing well. Have a good stream. See you, everybody. Yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Potential. Have yourself a wonderful night. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed. So yes, indeed. Um, currently, the uh, ultimately, um, I'm playing. Uh, one is able to jump in and just go to town, really, on how they would like to develop 
their character, whether they would like to be ex be warmongers, whether they want to turn themselves into a massive kingdom and rule um, a certain part or the entirety of the map, for example, or alternatively you can turn yourself into a trader and just make a lot of money uh, that way. Um, so there's certainly a lot of variety available within uh, Bannerlord on how you wish to, um, to uh, progress and, you know, grow your own character, if you will. Uh, Timothy, thank you so much for the lurk. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. So, um, indeed, we will currently keep on just looting some bandits. I also did say I needed to run into, uh, head on over and um, talk to a noble somewhere in order to uh, actually join forces as a mercenary and start making some money every single time we take them out. So, are the units you recruit tied to whereabouts you are on the map? Uh, yes, uh, the, uh, ultimately, um, uh, depending on which um, uh, region you happen to be in, specifically, um, sort of the way, if, taking a look at the map, how the map currently is, um, each specific um, uh, city or town, if you will, has a number of villages assigned to it. Um, within those villages, you then have access to um, certain unit types, uh, different units or unit types, which are generated randomly if you will however in their element of randomness they are only available as part of the um, uh, as part of the um, uh, nationality if you will that the uh, of the culture if you will that the city was originally in so therefore for example let's say you have uh, we have Uzai right uh, or Uyads here which is indeed as you can see a culture a, of the culture type Azerai if it is if it is captured by another faction, um, when they ha and uh, a person goes over into the city, they would still offer units which are of the culture Azerai. Um, uh, therefore, even if we as the Azerai end up taking out taking over Ortesia, for example, um, I will only be able to acquire units of that specific type by ret retreating back into uh, the uh, the regular Azerai territory. Indeed, it is very cool. Indeed, it is very cool. Um, if one, however, were to do such, a, were to try and create such a um, uh, such um, uh, a playthrough, if you will, and make it as easy as possible, one would usually one would tend to go for uh, one of these empires here. So either the western, the northern, or the southern. The main reason is uh, these three factions um, all have the exact same base unit types. So. Um, ultimately, therefore, if one is is performing such a uh, such a strategy, um, they are all considered to be of the culture type empire, and uh, yeah, therefore one is able to really have a uh, have have an easier time just acquiring the units that they want. It is indeed a more central faction, but not not only that. Um, as per the lore of the game, uh, this um, the empire was once a single unit, then it broke off into three. Uh, which is why, therefore, uh, they all have the same, um, uh, you know, unit structures and stuff. So. But yes, uh, we will proceed and continue our hunt for one of the lords of the lands. Those are uh, not the lords we're looking for. Ooh, hang on. Loads of uh, loads of people from the Western Empire just hopped on over here. So something tells me that uh, they may have been besieging Uyads for a second there, so got to be quite careful. Uh, makes sense it'd be easier as um, as them, then I will stop making you explain the basics now. Well, no worries, always happy to help. If you have any, other, any further questions, I'm more than happy to help, uh, to help um, you know, uh, showcase more of what the game has to offer and uh, help you, uh, well, uh, help you understand what is going on. Uh, Gilric, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome aboard to the community. I hope you. I sincerely do hope that you enjoy your stay. Thank you so so much. Hey, go, hey, Sassy, welcome back. Um, things are going pretty well. We've uh, we've amassed a total of seven thousand gold. Our army is well. Our band of units is becoming a little bit stronger, I would say, and our character is also looking to be uh, quite nicely decked out. I'd say overall, uh, we have been uh, certainly paying a bit more attention to getting ourselves better armor. Overall, uh, some of our one of our weapons we actually managed to win in a tournament, and uh, well, however, there are certainly more things we could improve um, in terms of our character's equipment, and we can possibly try and do that in a tournament right here. So, 
apparently if we do successfully win this tournament, we can get ourselves some decorated long sleeve bronze scale pauldrons, which I believe to be uh, shoulder pieces as pauldrons go. Um, not necessarily stronger than what we have, but if, even if they're not stronger than what we have, we can go ahead and sell them at a significant profit. And I do, I must admit, they do look pretty fancy. So yes, we will indeed uh, take part in the tournament, uh, which we can indeed um, uh, bet additional money in order to earn ourselves a tidy profit, should we come out victorious. So starting off with a two versus two, uh, one archer and one uh, one infantry unit on the other side. Hang on. There you go. Good hit. Punch him. In we go. So there goes their uh, their infantry unit. Now we're able to close in the gap and just hack and slash away at their archer. Lovely to see. Lovely to see. Yes, indeed, I do quite enjoy uh, Banner Lord, uh, Banner Lord myself. There is also multiplayer available, which uh, which it can also be quite cool to try sometime. Uh, so, um, given in the top left corner, we can see the different unit types and or lords that are currently uh, taking part in the tournament. And as you can possibly notice, the person in blue has a, a, name, a single name rather than uh, a certain unit type. He goes by the name of uh, um, Elias. And uh, given that lords tend to be stronger than regular units, um, I tend to try and focus them down to ensure I don't have to fight them in the final battle, if you will. So now we are indeed fighting uh, in a one versus one against a, an Azurai tribal horseman. Without the horse, of course, so that's fine by me. You, there are indeed certain factions where you can have tournaments which do have uh, that, that do take place on horseback as well, including the uh, including the finale. Okay, nice two javelins perfectly in uh, perfectly in between the eyes both times. Love to see it. Finally, ourselves versus a master archer. Uh, so we do still have a sword, but we also have access to some javelins which we can make use of. Thankfully, the shield does come in handy in giving us some additional protection. Oh, a bit too high. Try again. Good hit, just under the armpits. And that's the kill. Lovely. So, got ourselves a tidy, a tidy, sum, a tidy sum out of that, and also the pauldrons. So, we can, ins we can indeed inspect them if we want to, um, like so. And I, ooh, I never, I never, I don't think I've ever seen these ones before. They must have been added quite recently. I like the, uh, the presence of little ghouls almost, it seems like, um, on the very, very tips of the shoulder blades. Um, so that's, that, that does look pretty nice. However, uh, if we're looking at simple stats, um, our uh, the one that we currently have right now, which is the bronze scale shoulder guards, um, does indeed have uh, better uh, better armor for the chest. So I think we will indeed keep what we currently have and sell this for a, a yet again an even further profit. Lovely to see. Lovely to see. So uh, let's head on over and uh, see what we can uh, see who we end up running into. Oh, hang on! I did say that we wanted to join in. And one of these lords uh, or ladies, as you can see, as a mercenary if we can. So uh, let's speak to Mara right here. Um, I bid you uh, stop there, stranger. I bid you peace, at least until I find out who you are. Anyway, my name is Yasid, madam. How may I how, may I ask your name? I am Mara of the Banu Saran, a Saran, a clan of the Azari. Lovely. So there's, um, I'm sure someone with your reputation knows that nothing in this world is as valuable as the weight of your word. Speak truthfully with me, and I shall do the same. Good to know, good to know. So there's something I would like to discuss. Um, I would like to enter the service of, Sul of Sultan uh, Un'id, and uh, then she asks us how we would like to serve. So, if we're able to reach a, a, clan, a, a clan tier 2, we can decide to join in as a vassal, and therefore be able to partake in some of the uh, some of the uh, political decisions that take place, and also um, have the chance to uh, possibly also take control over certain castles and uh, and uh, towns, if you will, when there are wars going on. However, we would like to own, uh, simply serve as a mercenary at this time, so we will offer her our sword for the right sum. Uh, we do hire mercenaries, and some of them, I'll admit, are men of honor. 
Your reward will be 160 gold for every group of enemies you vanquish. So, currently, whenever we take on uh, we take on battles against bandits, or a possibly now that we're joining forces um, against uh, any other real unit, uh, real um, military forces, we would only receive what is available as part of um, sort of a, a portion of what they have in their storage in their inventory. However, now. As a mercenary for hire, we will also be paid an additional 160 gold every single time we kill, a, we successfully kill their units. So, uh, good. I'll have my men write up a simple contract. On behalf of the Azerai Sultanate, I welcome you. May you put your sword to good use against our enemies. You can count on me. As of now, your enemies are my enemies, and your honor is my honor. Wonderful. Nice. So now we actually do have allies on our, uh, allies on our sound like this, side like this. Is there any downside to being a mercenary or is it just extra money? Yes, there is indeed. Um, a, there, there are a couple of downsides that do come into play as part of this. Uh, first and foremost, as you can see now, uh, we are the, the, the Azerai are indeed in, uh, in conflict with um, the Southern Empire down here. So whereby usually if there happened to be um, one a lord or lady if you will with a very large army which is traveling next to me and traveling next to me belonging to the southern empire they would not engage with me however if i get, go close to their territory i can indeed end up getting swarmed by units pertaining to this faction furthermore not only the not only am i at war now with the uh, regular with the actual regular uh, lords and ladies of this particular faction but or this particular kingdom but i am also at war or rather i am also at risk of being attacked by any other mercenary units that or mercenary clans that um, have are currently being paid by um the southern empire so yeah but now we can actually see that there are indeed certain um, well there are some armies that are currently uh, mobile and heading in to attack the southern empire from the west uh, although i will be completely honest they don't really uh, inspire me too much since they have only 500 and uh, approximately 100 units at their disposal whereby i have indeed previously seen armies um, uh, of, of over 1300 units so uh something's telling me they're not going to be in for a good time just uh, just a hunch but nonetheless, at least now we do receive, uh, we do have an additional incentive, if you will, to take on fights against um, any units we go up against, since we will be receiving additional gold. And in, or, right, uh, and uh, already, since we had within uh, within a certain time frame, we had already been fighting against uh, mercenaries and uh, sorry, other bandit units and stuff. We are or we are indeed receiving gold as part of the mercenary contract, as you can see currently plus one sixty which was something we were not receiving previously, therefore um, helping slightly offset um, uh, the, uh, the the amount of money we're losing as part of the party wages. So it's a nice little, uh, it's kind of like a small little stopgap, if you will, from uh, bleeding out too much money. A bit of an incentive, if you will. And there's nothing wrong in, cha in deciding to leave one, uh, to stop being a mercenary for the Azerai and change over to one of the other factions as well so you always have that um, that as something at your as something you can decide to do should um should the the need arise so we will go ahead and quickly attack this uh, small bandit uh, this small group of bandits here and we will send our units to finish the job unfortunately we did lose one of our uh, units in the process so uh, we will have to uh, we will have to uh, replenish that lost unit somehow uh, he is a footman which forms part of the tribesman class so we will uh, spec one of our units accordingly to um, to fulfill their place so by having uh, done that uh, that quick uh, that quick battle which is in the which uh, as you can see therefore uh, quick resolve is indeed an option if you so desire um, uh, well that does inherit that has allowed us to gain ourselves another point of influence therefore keeping the mercenary contract alive for a shorter for a longer period of time uh, so now we're going up against two separate bands of uh, bands of units uh, both of them do have a cavalry each so two cavalry in total and this time just to showcase what it's like to fight in a battle 
um, I will indeed uh, engage in battle myself. So uh, once you have multiple unit types, you do have the ability to uh, select, uh, or rather to maneuver or to move certain units within within reason into place, and also choose what kind of formation you would like them to uh, you would like them to engage in. So I will have my infantry units in square formation and my cavalry in loose for the time being. So now we can, of course, one can play either offensively or defensively. Um, since they have cavalry and and I have a lot of infantry units, I will kind of, I will presently play more defensively, so that they charge into me and our units with their spears uh, can uh, yeah can cause some havoc. I'd say we can also help with a spear of our own, and uh, if we position ourselves just right, we can brace and cause some mayhem. There we go. One of their one of their bandits has already been eliminated. We'll send our cavalry to uh, deal Run with the enemy. Uh, line formation and attack. Actually, Have cavalry will move. hold back for now since uh, we don't want our cavalry to charge straight into the enemy spears at this time. Okay, the other bandit got eliminated. Uh, bring our, our infantry back so that we're all fully regrouped uh, so that no one gets caught out in the process. Three, two, one, and charge. Um, uh, not Ketmak, thank you so much for the, uh, for the, uh, for the follow. Welcome aboard to the community. I hope you enjoy. There we go. And uh, that would therefore be a successful win. The, uh, one of the cool things about the uh, cavalry um, that we have available right now is that they do indeed come equipped with javelins as well, which is why you can see a bunch of uh, very small, small spear looking spears stuck in the ground from an angle heading over from our direction. Lovely, good kill there, good kill. And uh, yes, we got ourselves some prisoners, and we have gotten a portion of their loot, which we can uh, sell accordingly in order to make ourselves a tiny little profit. Ooh, loads of bandits. Uh, they are currently faster. Not sure once we've organized if we can catch up. Yep, 5.4 4 versus 5.5. Uh, we can also engage with the unit group of 2 in order to pull in the group of 12, like so. They have uh, six cavalry in total this time around, so this uh, this will indicate to me that um, a defensive play is the best way for our units. No, not in scheme formation. Uh, we could either go circle or alternatively square. I tend to find square to be um, uh, more uh, to be more optimal, in my opinion. Uh, loose formation. There we go. That way, by also putting our th these particular cavalry with the uh, with the uh, javelins in loose formation. Uh, it allows them to um, uh, have a wider throwing angle, if you will, when throwing the javelins at uh, at the enemy. Okay, let's wait for them. They're closing in. So two of their two of their own units have javelins as well. Go get them. Attack. Okay, cavalry can go in. Attack. Good work, good work. Um, cavalry fall back, infantry um, come back into shield wall formation, please. Thank you. Enemy infantry is inbound right now, so I'd rather we get everyone uh, into position. We'll actually put them into line formation first to close the uh, to get into position faster. And now we'll engage, like so. Hold the charge, get our shield out, and help. Go. Get them off. Good. Cavalry can now engage since there's no more infantry remaining, and uh, the rest should be um, pretty easy from here on out. Okay, so infantry will actually bring you all back here and put you into circle. Circle being a wider, a slightly wider formation compared to uh, square. So if the cavalry comes close, um, we have a better chance of one of the spears poking the either the rider or the horse itself in the side. Uh, right, there he goes. Final horse, uh, horse, final horse rider has been dismounted, and he's getting spoked from multiple angles. See if we can close in and get, finish off the job. Oops, there we go. Yep, good kill. Good kill. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Uh, we'll get ourselves another Mameluk there. Mameluk soldier goes up into axe Mameluk as well, and the Azurai guys. Uh, I think I'll actually start specking into some light archers as well. Give ourselves um, some ranged capabilities um, in the near future.
Mm, sadly, no horses survived the battle, um, or rather, our uh, our luck of the draw did not allow us to receive a horse as part of uh, the spoils of war. However, uh, we still have a, a number of things we can take with us in order to make a decent profit. There we go, and we're all also up to just underneath three, uh, just underneath ten um, k, uh, while also expecting an increase of three hundred and twenty gold uh, in the next day. So we're doing well. We're doing well. Quite a lot of depth to the game, it seems. I had heard that on launch it wasn't very good. Uh, how's it in my opinion? Um, I, I mean, I tend to still enjoy it now uh, nowadays. Um, they actually released a patch with some minor bug fi with some bug fixes quite recently, uh, end of last week. And uh, yeah, we're keeping uh, we're looking forward to hopefully being able to try out some cool mods uh, once the mods have been brought up to date. Um, uh, with the um, with the latest patch, so that is definitely something currently on my radar.